One of the earliest agricultural societies that appears in the American Southwest are known as the Hohokam, Although much debate still occurs amongst scholars about their early origins and migration patterns, it is our belief the Hohokam were in fact migrants from Mesoamerica. When analyzing their material technologies, distinct traits and iconography from Mesoamerica appears. These items and cultural practices include the use of scarlet macaws, iron pyrite mirrors, shell jewelry that is identical to styles found in ancient Mexico, ball courts, platform mounds, copper bells, incense audios, rubber and stone balls, turquoise mosaics, effigy pallets, and much more. The Hohokam territory throughout time and space was a large eco-space of land reaching from present-day Phoenix stretching out to the northern tip of Nogales, Mexico. Our modern culture looks at this desert landscape and often questions how ancient civilization could have thrived in such an arid environment. While challenges most certainly did exist, we can definitively say that Hohokam inhabitants mastered their landscape by building a monumental civilization with the most elaborate irrigation and canal systems in North America. After many years of working and piecing together a complex puzzle, archaeology has created a timeline for Hohokam civilization. While excavations at large sites such as Snake Town and Pueblo Grande assist with the Hohokam timeline, observing diagnostic patterns and ceramic sequences plays a pivotal role as well. The Hohokam millennium is split up into two sequences of time known as the pre-classic and classic periods. Within each period, more definitive phases exist where we see shifts in decorated ceramics, cultural practices, and to some degree, later religious ideology. Around 8050 to 300, we see the first distinctive traits of Hohokam civilization appear in the archaeological record. During this time, the production of redware ceramics and shell begins to increase while irrigation systems continue to expand. By 700, the Snake Town phase begins where low platform mounds, red on buff pottery, and cremation burials were common cultural practices. From 750 to 900, artistic complexity and Hohokam civilization flourishes. An increase of Mesoamerican traits become common during this time where ideas from southern groups become widely accepted amongst Hohokam people. Exotic goods are imported, elaborate life forms are painted on red on buff ceramics, elaborate motifs are carved into shell and stone palettes, and the use of ball courts brings people together. When examining projectile points during the Gila Butte and Santa Cruz phases, it becomes widely apparent these were the most complex series made in North America. From 900 to 1150 in the Sacaton and Santan phases, open marketplaces became popular while keeping cultural influences and ideas alive and well. The mass production and wide distribution of red on buff ceramics hit its apex. While life forms were still common, geometric patterns became highly desired in the Hohokam heartland. Around 1125, inhumation burial practices were conducted and the site of Snake Town became abandoned. As time progresses into the Classic period, we see a major shift amongst the Hohokam. By 1175, ball courts and open marketplaces declined. At the same time, above-ground walled compounds and massive platform mounds make an appearance. These structures were likely controlled by an elite group of people. Interestingly, shell jewelry remains complex as red on buff pottery declines. From 1200 to 1300, ball courts were completely abandoned and migrants flooded into the Hohokam world. Surely resistance likely occurred upon initial arrival. However, as the Salado religious belief system expanded, Hohokam people began to embrace its worldview. Indeed, Salado polychrome vessels became popular. By 1350, populations began to rapidly decline and by 1450, cultural collapse occurred. Some theories on the abandonment of the Hohokam world include overpopulation, warfare, elites gaining too much power, disease, environmental stress, or even a combination of each.